wow did you see that like we are only left with 45 subscribers from reaching 1000 in our brand new channel the gospel with ishmael ha oh, friends brethren saints come on don't embarrass me the 45 that are remaining go there check the link it's on the description of the video below go there and subscribe the link is below the description of the video here go there and subscribe only 45 of you left come on come on tomorrow let's talk about a different story okay let's just get to a thousand of course i'm going to upload videos i said it starting on monday but come on let's go to a thousand 45 of you where are you go and subscribe now now go there and subscribe i'm waiting for you okay 45 of you only that's all and we're done we're at a thousand go there check it out please okay the link is down below even now go and subscribe and as well as hit the notification bell and if you like you can come back and comment that you have subscribed and i'm going to respond to you okay go there now 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 okay anyways hello everyone my name is ishmael n and welcome to today's video and in today's video i just want to tell you something i'm not giving you false hope but what you're about to hear in today's video listen carefully i don't think you'll ever hear it anywhere it's not something which i heard it in some other video or somebody saying it but i learned this through experience through evaluation through researching huh like i combined everything and this is the best conclusion so far there might be other ways but this is one of the most effective ways on how you can beg beg an ordained spouse and i will tell you also why it might seem like it's hard but it's very possible listen up listen here first of all allow me to tell you that what really made uh, i might have explained some videos recently a little bit but what makes it hard for people to come together christians fellow christians a christian lady and a christian man is their mentality uh or maybe one of them or you find that they are not too spiritual and sometimes they don't do it deliberate not because totally you are unspiritual or you're not spiritual but it's because of the human nature yeah let me just use the word human nature what is the human nature here is you find that maybe a woman when she's dating a man and it, let's take a good guy this is very common a good guy the reason that's why you see most women they are turned off by this good man and they feel like they are boring or church guys they don't have a drama they don't have a fun thing you know they always ask for permission blah 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 so this is what causes a major problem and also when a, a, a christian um, man is dating a maybe a christian lady but she feels like this kind of, she's quite boring she doesn't like you know you know like she's just one of those oh, too shy she's not like those things you know at the end of the day they make people now to be turned off by each other those two people who are supposed to be together the human nature there is no thrill there is no so somehow, somehow you get to be turned off and the best way to to resolve this is this when you fall in love when you meet somebody you must set it in your mind that for example some people they get turned off because they'll be like my partner was too clingy that's all because he was too clingy or she was too clingy she was always calling me and she was those things only can make one be like oh no i'm tired i need my space but it just needs somebody with maturity you must be matured enough you must allow yourself to mature from it and expect it that this person will there will be there will be some things that is, are gonna turn me off i must be prepared to be matured enough and not to push it away i remember even with myself i realized i just learned by default that you know what i used to have that mentality because we always grew up being taught especially in like in africa you when they look at dating they consider they would look at dating as some sort of sin so we grew up with the mentality at church that when you date you are sinning so it was hard that the moment you want to date you will feel bad you will feel guilty that you are sinning and easily you will let go of a relationship so i realized most of the time when i would get in a relationship the moment and because i was expecting somebody to be 100 spiritual 
the moment she will start acting up a little bit, she will start doing things which seems to be a bit weirdly, I will quickly give up and just dump her. And I will realize uh, in the long run that, you know what, I never last in my relationships and the main cause is because I'm doing the dumping. Then I would look at people who are in re long-term relationships and I would realize, wait a minute, it finally dawned to me that these people, when they start to clash, when they start to disagree, they fight for their relationship. So that's what I ended up teaching myself, that when in a relationship now, my aim is not to see the, the person's imperfections and then I let them go, but it's to see the imperfections and learn to live with those imperfections. At least set standards that whatever imperfections, let it not be this, this, this. In, fact, in simple terms, I, would, I told myself to look at things that I can tolerate and look at things which by in no means I can ever tolerate. Then be like, okay, let the person be 70% um, of what I want and the 30% I will try to build, I will try to tolerate and we can work on it. At least let there be 70% of what I desire. Then obviously the person will be imperfect. So they said, let me consider those things to be the 30%. Then I will build or to be the, the person to find them as 80% and the 20% you're going to build. So as a result, I was so prepared. I was like, you know what? Now, no matter what, no matter how turned off I feel, no matter how much space I might feel I need, do not allow it to control me. So I realized that was the best solution one can have in keeping a relationship, you know? And as a result, like, I also learned that if these two people could come together, because some, most of the, one of the most common things is this. One, th the complaints are these are very common. Some good men would be complaining that, you know what, I was with a woman, I even saw this other, we had this other man was saying the same, that, was it a lady or a man, I forgot. But they were saying that this other guy was complaining that, you know what, I did everything for this lady, I would buy her whatever, but she still ended up leaving me. I don't know what women want. But all in all, it's because of that, that thing. Sometimes when you are everything, no drama, like I was saying, as much as you will never hear women admitting or even men admitting, people, they get turned off when somebody is just too constant. You are too good, you know, like you don't give them those dramas. That's why I find that some people, they take time to live a toxic relationship as compared to a, a good relationship. Those are kind of examples of what you can do. What's the cause? I'm just trying to make you understand. So that's why they say good guys, ladies don't love good guys. They find them to be boring. Why? Because they are too constant. They don't complain. Even when she wants to walk all over him, just there. And women, I've had so many women with my own ears, even church ladies, they'll be like, I want a man who can put me in my place. I want someone who can shout at me. Just that no one is able to admit it enough, but they do want a man to show that he is a man. So the same as men, there are some things which they expect. That's why you find that a man is, he will cheat on a good woman, although he won't, uh, most likely sometimes he, won't, he might not leave a good woman, but he will be cheating and she finds out, then she dump him. So that's how it most sometimes ends. And she'll be like, he cheated on me. No, and I was too good to him. I was so loyal. So those are the things. It feels like she's not thrilling enough and he wants the thrill, you know. So what's hap so the best way for to beg someone who is a kingdom spouse to have a kingdom marriage is to first start with yourself. Teach yourself to be matured enough to an extent where like you be like, you know what? Now I'm with a good woman or I'm with a good guy. I will get bored. You won't have so much drama. Sometimes you might ask me for permissions, but the fact that what matters the most is that he is spiritually fears the Lord. Let me learn that sometimes he might act some a bit clingy, so long as it's not uh, those uh, toxic clinginess. But you you you, to, you teach yourself that even if I get bored, let me not push them away. So long as they are faithful, so long as it's someone who fears the Lord, other things will see. And you find that he also taught himself that no matter what, no matter how bored I feel, no matter how not so so exciting she seems. Let me not look at the women outside. No matter how hard it gets, I will tolerate her. I will learn to live with her. So long as it's something that I can bear. If it's a matter of me feeling like she's boring or him, me feeling like he's boring or it's not that exciting, let me not allow it to end my, uh, my marriage or my potential marriage relationship, you know? Then, as a result, you realize no matter how boring or what, 
those things they will long longer affect you and even with him if you both have the similar mindsets you might feel like it's boring kind of like but at the end you will find out a ways to make each other happy as fellow christians and as a result you guys when you get married now you'll focus more on what matters the most which is love no cheating faithfulness godliness going to church reading the bible praying together and as a result there won't be any one of you who's gonna cheat there won't be any one of you who's gonna think like you are boring just because you are not uh you don't uh sometimes shout at her or you don't sometimes you know do, do those things so yeah what will stop you from only if we can get rid of the human nature it's in our nature as human beings to feel like that ignore fight against the human nature of wanting some excitement some drama when you are fighting and making up you think like oh there is some excitement yeah i want us to fight get rid of those those are the flesh, fleshly desires and at the end if you find someone who has those who is packaged like that most often they are worldly and those are the ones who can one day hit you or cheat on you or even go further do worse things than just an innocent fight so learn to live with that except those that you won't have those dramas fighting you know being angry at each other that's so much they will be there you'll fight once in a while but it won't be as much and you'll be fine i hope you got what i'm trying to say okay and that's all i had for in today's video remember come on 45 of you left subscribe to our brand new channel okay the gospel with ishmael the link is on the description of the video right now go there if you have not yet subscribed 45 of you left fill up this slot and we'll get to a thousand okay let's talk a different story tomorrow come on come on huh? 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 come on come on hallelujah and please if you enjoyed today's video remember to like it share it subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you know if i'm uploading new videos in this channel now okay also in the brand new channel remember to hit the notification bell and for prayer requests spiritual advices tell me on my instagram or email me the details on the description of the video below and remember to be a born again christian if you had backslid then along with your salvation rededicate your life unto the lord jesus christ repent and invite the holy spirit to come rule and guide you oh and as for me ishmael and your priest i will see you in the next video upload take care and stay blessed